live from Austin, Texas, where we're going back to the cube. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hey, Danny. Oh, boy. If there's one thing I love more than anything, it's cube. Mm-hmm. This stream is all about cubes. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll remember several months ago we experienced the 3DO math cube. I'm still trapped inside it, still doing math infinitely in a four-dimensional environment. I would like to leave the cube. I would too, but at least we can stream from here. Mm -hmm. We, we uh, get some people to hear our cries for help, but will they be, be able to decode it in time? <laughs> the, <laughs> things, <laughs> the things we're saying actually translate into, please let me out of this fucking cube, it sucks here. I was gonna say, are you saying that our show is just a big cry for help? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. That's one way of looking at it. Well, that's depressing. Hi everybody, welcome. Uh, before we get started, I want to thank Inari Fox for 13 months of war. Okay, normal, so I, be normal stream. No idea what you're talking about, but thank you. And thank you to Ides of Merch, 19 months. Listen up, girls, you snooze, you lose. It's true, you do. <laughs> I love that girls club theme. God, it's so good. Also, welcome to Recent Raiders, I asked, and Hachiko Syndrome. Welcome, Thanks. everyone. It's time for a stream full of cubes. This week, as I threatened to do last week during one of our streams, I asked our patrons which of these cube games they wanted to see. This game would form the basis of what was to come later. Of course they chose Cube of War. I mean, was there any doubt? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Personally, I could have done with Cube Quest. That is a Laserdisc arcade game about uh, 3D visual art. It's amazing. You gotta see it Cube sometime. <laughs> well, I too don't... bad. Because we're playing a game that's somehow even weirder. It's Cube of War for the Nintendo GameCube. Thanks to all cubes who participated. Thank you, Cube. Ready to do this. Let me know when you need me to... <laughs> do it. Okay. Welcome to the world of Cube of War. A very, very strange game. And one you're not likely to experience these days, given how rare it is. This is progressively scanned cubes. This game's got some fans. If you played it, you probably liked it, or at least remembered it. Oh, it, I... is, it is memorable, I'll give it that much. This game really unsettled me back in the day. It was wonderful. It was kind of not like anything else. Oh, it took a poop. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the uh, Sarah Brunei there behind uh, Jungle Park. Mm-hmm. Our friends from Jungle Park, Sarah Brunei, right. ended up making this game. Uh, if you want a primer on what they were up to before this, we have an archive of our Jungle Park playthrough on YouTube. Well, playthrough. <laughs> we attempted to play it. What that game was, was a mist-like adventure game where you solved little environmental puzzles, and eventually you got to these sports stadiums where you did these bizarre mini-games. Anyway, this game's nothing like that, but its aesthetic is very similar. It uses a lot of cubic characters, as you see in Sarah Brunei's other games. And this is actually a co-pro between Sarah Brunei and Intelligent Systems, because in Japan this is a first-party freaking game, published by Nintendo. Nintendo, why? For whatever reason, they expressly stated they weren't going to bring it over. Like, <laughs> you know Nintendo, they never say, no, we're not bringing this over. But this, this game was so weird that they said no, and they gave up the publishing rights for the North American version to Atlas, who localized it, and gave it kind of a funny translation, which I think suits it pretty well. Yeah, it's all right. I remember the translation being a little hostile, though. But it's I... a little aggro. It's a little. You'll see. You'll see. See, even the menus pay tribute to the uh, the monkey from Jungle Park. Oh, it's it's our man. Mm -hmm. There he is. I don't like the ear on top of his head. Dolby ears are fine, though. I do like Dolby ears. Ready to get started? Uh, yeah. A little afraid though, but let's see what this is. Oh, like. you should be. This is a very strange game. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead with just enter my own name I to make turn it as. Down. The cracking is so loud. Make it as creepy as possible. My name is Danny, Ooh. and I think it starts me out as a pig. <laughs> Here I am. Primal Mighty Might Piggy Danny. That's my full name. Now everything in this game world is made of cubes. These are actually clouds. Eventually you'll see the sun and the moon. Those are also cubes. And we were just born. Hooray. Congratulations, Piggy Danny. Mm-hmm. 
It reminds me of that game that Hatsune Miku made, uh, Minecraft? Cubecraft? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, I see people saying Mindcraft. <laughs> Oh, no. The Chromium Beasts, proving their technical prowess and how reflections can be rendered near <laughs> the end of us all. Good graphics are the devil. You're not wrong. <laughs> it's a pretty bleak intro. Mm -hmm. Hey, they ruined your land and ate all your friends. And now there's this big bully in charge, known as the Killer Cubivore. He has all the meat. Meanwhile, on Monkey Crab Land... <laughs> well, they're all gonna die, so that's cool. Flop. I like this game's very simple and clean presentation. It runs at 60 FPS. You wanna live? <laughs> That was the first thought I ever had. I want to be alive. It's also how Detroit Become Human starts. There it is. The sun. And we are but a tiny piglet. Well, we're alive. That's me. That's what they call me. Used to be my nickname in college. I shall eat, and eat, and become king of all cubivores. That's all we want to do in the world. And it just starts you out. Uh, no you preparations, go. no armaments, no learning new skills. You are just a baby pig finding his way out in the world. So normally you move pretty slowly. You can fix that by eating other animals. You have a block. You can pounce. You can... Okay, that recenters the camera. The camera is going to be the biggest problem in this entire game. You can also recenter it using the right analog stick. Just gradually coming to grips for this myself. I played a little bit of this last night, but this is a pretty strange game. Delicious! This is one of them evolutionary-themed games, and thus it's completely accurate to uh, how creatures live and mm -hmm. breed and evolve. Yeah, I remember uh, reading Darwin talking about snack grass. Mm hmm So pay attention. All creatures in a default state just say, want to eat, want to eat, want to eat. Mm -hmm. That's what dogs are trying to tell you when they bark at you. Pretty sure that's what cats say, too. Yeah. Wow, want to eat, want to eat. Right now we're just snacking. These things can't fight back, so they don't give us powers yet. Damn. It's got the lock-on system. It's got Z-targeting, like your favorite Ocarina of Time. So anyone who plays Zelda will be right at home here. This is a pretty chill game for being about, you know, what it is. Well, it's that's nature, man. They didn't make this a game to be weird. For weirdos, it's just a complete documentary-style nature video that's just happened to be interactive. David Attenborough's cub Cubivore. Time to beef up my body. Now, this game starts with a pretty lengthy uh, tutorial and stuff, but I think it's pretty essential. Chomp. Just grinding those horn points. Mm hmm. This training turf is toast. Piggy's got an attitude to him. I kind of sure, like it. They sure do. Okay, I see. Ooh. Now, if you want other evolution themed games, you might want to check out stuff like Evo Search for Eden for Super Nintendo. That's a good one. Tale of the Sun, which is kind of similar to this. And uh, especially Tokyo Jungle, which is actually very similar to this game. I was surprised actually finding that out. It is, yeah. Alright, I've seen several people in chat mention this was originally a Nintendo 64 game. Mm-hmm, sure yeah. was. 
And that's kind of the problem with Sara Brunei, because they invested heavily in 64 disk drive uh, development. They were making two games with Nintendo, and then the thing ended up not selling, so Nintendo canceled both of them, leaving them in pretty dire straits. But at some point, Nintendo rescued the project, gave it to Intelligent Systems to finish up, and that's what you see here. Alright, yeah, chat mentioning they're like, oh, no love for Spore? Oh yeah, Spore! That's yeah. a game that does that. Ah, this game does it better. Also, uh... Yeah, Viva Pinata, I guess, is another kind of... Oh, true! Yeah. That takes a, a different approach. You don't necessarily have to level up stuff. It's more like just smashing pinatas together and making them mate. <laughs> but that was a pretty fun game. I'd like to stream that sometime. Uh-oh. It's a creature that can fight. Okay, Electric Boogaloo mentions it was originally coded in Intelligent Systems and was brought over to GameCube by Star of Brunei. Oh, weird. That's so weird, because it's... That sounds like backwards. <laughs> yeah, that seems backwards, because it seems like a Sarah Brunei game, and especially with the inclusion of the uh, monkey from whatchamacallit. Well, I guess they were just close with Nintendo back then. Mm. Got the color meat, which cool. means we get an extra flap. With extra flaps, you can move faster. You're sometimes stronger, get better defense. Oh, your tire jack pale. Mm-hmm. And that's this game's whole system, because you have a bestiary of things you can evolve, evolve into. You start with this little cube of stuff you can do, but that, uh, that thing at the bottom of the screen eventually reaches all the way to the right. There's a lot of different evolutions. And you get variations depending on what you eat and in what order. Oh, fair enough. Saru Brunei was also the producer of the game as well, so... Okay. That tracks. Okay. This game might also be a little bit slower paced than what we usually exhibit on stream, but it's a nature documentary, so what are you gonna do? Everybody just sit here and watch the TV we rolled into the room on that cart. <laughs> hey, it's better than listening to one of my lectures. Listen, you have to learn about... Listen, you have to learn about, uh... You have to learn about bonobos sometime. <laughs> I feel a bit more buff. God, yeah, it was that one card that had that one sticker on, the, on like, part of it that was like, Hey, don't tip this over. You'll die. <laughs> oh, we can jump real high now. Now, see, other enemies, they can also lock onto you, and you need to be careful of that. You can dodge pretty easy, though. Get a couple of chomps in, and then just bite off its flap. Nature is cruel, but we can't interfere. I got one of them sliding flaps. Oh, look at you slide! Okay, Cactus I also want to know that. Uh, chat? Do they still have those old ass TVs with VCRs on carts in schools? Or and do, and do kids get really excited when they see one? Because that's always the highlight of the day. Like, TVs are smaller now, so what do they have? I, They're I probably know. cheaper than CRTs, too, those little uh, LCDs. But it's tradition, you gotta have a big ass CRT on a cart. Okay, no. I'm sorry. Smart boards are... If you think that every school has a smart board... <laughs> Alright, no. Alex, don't argue. It, it must be strong. I want to eat it. You gonna eat that baby? Uh-huh. It's a baby eat baby world. Don't you do it. So the combat's a little simplistic, but luckily it makes up nearly 100% of the gameplay. <laughs> Eventually it gets a little more complex, the enemies start to actually fight back. Okay, more info on Saru Brunei here. Uh, according to Electric Boogaloo, it's a studio under Marigold Management, a joint venture between Nintendo and Human Resources Company Recruit. Oh, that's right! I forgot they had that partnership with Nintendo. Okay, that would explain why uh, Intelligent Systems developed the first version then. And yeah, this turned out to be the studio's final project, as the Marvel was dissolved a year later after uh, Kibahora was released. Yep. Yeah, those N64DD projects took its toll. And I guess the GameCube one wasn't enough of a success to save the company. 
All right. Uh, well, multiple people saying that schools just use projection uh, projectors and smart boards now. I, 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 I believe you when you say poor schools have smart boards, but I don't believe anybody about it because I'm old and that sounds too futuristic for me. Thank you. I don't believe anything I hear on the internet. No, I don't believe anything in, in general. I'm completely <laughs> ignorant and useless. Much like this cute little pig friend. Hey, I'm getting more useful. I can I was, stand up on my own flap now. I was gonna say, he seems he seems pretty intelligent. Oh, like look at this wiggle you got. You got a backdash that changes depending on which color you absorb. This is a pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna wiggle away from everyone. Okay, apparently Marigold uh, was responsible for developing co uh, columns for Super Famicom in 1999. Nice. This is a little different than columns, though. I'm just saying. A little bit. And that's level one. This is a level-based game, so there's a limited amount of creatures you can consume. And here you get to actually track what you transformed into. Later on you get to call these evolutions up whenever you need them. These... suck. <laughs> these are terrible. Yeah, but eventually like you these. do get something with more hit points and more attack stats. Piggy Danny, five mutations! That sounds a little threatening. Like, I can't... Alright, so this is where the Atlas uh, localization strategy starts to become apparent. I'm plum tuckered out. What was being born and pigging out? It was a killer schedule from my first day. I don't know why he's Southern. <laughs> he is now. Well, Piggy Danny is Southern. I'm totally oinked out. Zonked out? Ah, zonked out. Sorry, I haven't quite mastered the art of language yet. <laughs> Just being born and all. I love this pig! Anywho, this, this pig is one day old and already is talking like anywho. And yeah, this is simulating a very simple organism, so all you know how to do is eat. The back of my bacon brain. Alright, so we're a pig with ambitions. And in order to bring back color to the world, all you gotta do is eat all the animals. Th it's no. the vitamin D. Oh wait, let's. This is a limerick. Eating the color meat makes my body take on many shapes. It's the vitamin D, or perhaps the protein, or maybe the savory taste. Piggy Danny. I can oh, only I can only assume in Japan that's supposed to be a haiku. Poet laureate of Twitch. That's me. Elect me poet laureate. They get elected, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you vote for president, it's like, I think, it actually, no, no, it comes up in city council elections. Okay, uh, Marigold wasn't just Saru Brunei, apparently. It had a few other studios, including Param, Clever Trick, Noise, and Umbrella. Umbrella and Noise are still around, but Param, Clever Trick, and of course Saru Brunei are not. Yeah. They took on a little bit too much. I guess they really bought into Nintendo saying the 64 disk drive was going to be the wave of the future. So some parts of the wilderness have had all their color drained. Want to guess how you restore it? Do you, do you eat things? Of course! Hmm. That's the solution to everything. Eat it up. Well... I guess you just need to eat your friends. Cool. That's nature. It's gonna be on the quiz. That's normal. I'm... Professor Dan here, biology class, seems pretty... Piggy Danny, please. Sorry, sorry, sir. Uh, Piggy Danny. Uh -huh. You're, uh... Professor Piggy Danny. You're... Dr. Piggy Danny. <laughs> Dr. Piggy Danny, PhD. I... That thing we picked up is basically a potion you can use at any time to restore your health. Cool. It's like a fairy in Zelda. And y'all played that new Zelda? It looks pretty good. <laughs> no, I haven't played the new Zelda. I've... I've played the new... The new Gusio game, though. Oh, I played that too. Yeah. That's basically like this, only with honking instead of eating. Mm. I think you should be able to eat people in the Goose game. Yeah, that would be way better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make the kid wear the wrong glasses and then eat him. Jesus, Danny! Oh, 
<laughs> oh, by the way, there's a camera. Did you notice? Mm. I love it. The soundscape is really interesting. That really soft... Uh... It's nice, it's very minimal. Mm -hmm. In fact, the entire game is kind of minimal. Uh, Dave Halverson himself likened this game to the Atari Jaguar's graphics in his review say, of the game. Do you want me to put up the images you asked for for Cuba Horror? Why or? not, yeah. Okay. Put, up, put up Dave Halverson's review just to see how this game was uh, received in the day. Alright, let, uh, let me read this review here. Uh... Question. Can a game starring a weird cube in 3D graphics from the Jaguar era, say for the textures, be any good? Oddly enough, the answer is yes, to put it mildly. Not knowing what to expect, I initially thought it was a prank. Oh, how cute. After this, they'll jump in with the next-gen stuff. Er, <laughs> or not. When do games ever do that? Come on, dude. So here's this little odd... Here's this odd little box talking to me and dragging itself around, eating stuff and just getting weirder. Now, two hours later, transfixed, I finally heard a loud noise or something and snapped out of it. It was as if I'd traveled back in time and was playing pure, wild, pure, simple life again on the PlayStation. It's not what that's called. It's called Tale of the Sun, but whatever. These oddball survival of the fittest games don't happen often, but when they do, it's like we get to feel the drugs they were on when they made them. <laughs> so since I don't do drugs, and neither should you, uh -huh. games like Cubivore serve a higher purpose. Yeah, right. They what? answer to God. Go ahead. Yeah, right. What a bunch of malarkey that was. See what it's done to me? Dave Halverson, 4 out of 5. I love that review because it mentions Jaguar graphics and him not doing drugs. Which, if you saw the Jaguar stream, you know that's not true. <laughs> so good. But it does remind me with the flat-shaded look of earlier games, and it being a 64DD game, that makes a lot of sense. Some of these textures look hella in 64. Mm-hmm. That one especially, the repeated blurry one yeah, up the, there. Yeah, the repeated blurry one on the tops of the grass, yeah. So in 64, it's like a game out of time. But the gameplay is as relevant as ever. I say there having not been a game like this in many years. <clears throat> what did I get? Pale. Oh, I have to walk around with my face now. <laughs> Look at you! <clears throat> you shit? Yeah. You can shit out the last animal you ate. I don't. It's called do. Oh, but I'm still stuck in this form. Well, whatever. We'll find something else. It's all about experimentation. And, of course, patience. Now, I'd love to be able to tell you to, you can go to eBay to buy this game, but, uh, complete copies, currently around 200 bucks. Yeah. It is currently, according to PriceCharting.com, the fourth rarest Nintendo GameCube game released in the States, behind Gotcha Force, Pokemon Box, and a combo of Metroid Prime and Wind Waker. Wow, what a game! I want this guy's meat. He's got helpers. It's one of them animal gangs. Hachi. Let's see, uh... How old? How old? This is... I'm pretty sure this is compatible with, uh, Dolphin, yeah. It is, yeah. And yeah, Krungo, I was actually looking up contemporary reviews of this game, and some were, some were, some were very pos- some were extremely positive, but yeah, most were just like, this is odd. And to be fair, this is extremely fucking weird, so. Oh, I got Raw Paw. Oh my god. Now what is that, like a furry STD? <laughs> Alex is getting up to Goodbye. leave. Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> now.
And now that he knows Raw Pa, he can mate. Uh huh. No, I'm here. Unfortunately, <laughs> Alex did take off. He wanted to. Oh, unfortunately, I ha I feel a strong duty to you, the chat, to keep Danny on task. Of course. <laughs> Man, it's always when I expect to hear a Danny that I never get it. I I wanted to. I just, I didn't want to be that loud. I think the chat did it for you. Yeah, they certainly did. So we got the raw paw, and that means we can mate. Because, again, it's basically Tokyo Jungle. It kind of blows my mind. Yep, genitals are the best for mating and dashing. All right, we got a couple more forms. Attack three, defense one. Sounds great. What? What? Okay. Thank you, Electric Boo Boo, for this info. Uh, the music in Cubivore is by Hajime Tachibana, who you may know from the new wave group, The Plastics. Wow. What the fuck? And let me tell you, that raw paw, man. Caviar of the wild. Hard to keep the old mandibles from just dropping open. When buy this stuff and my belly starts a dancing, I get this incredible urge to go find some females and to belly dance with them. I can sprint like a racehorse. Is this? I passed wind of good information. Passed wind, caught wind. Anyway, I got a fat tip. Word on the street is in the next level I could meet a female or something like that. Just thinking about it gives me butterflies in my stomach. Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? Although my poor little tummy wants to eat something yummy, it's tied up in knots because I've got the hots. With a female, I want to get chummy. I don't know about this localization. <laughs> it is very 2002. Well, here we are in the frog bog. And we've reached the mating grounds. Uh, send your children out of the room. Oh no, Danny. Danny. New limbs! Uh-huh. Once you mate, you grow new limbs. Va-va-voom! Let's do it, let's do it. Alright, chicks, where are you at? This is a very Friday game on Wednesday, for sure, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's the most Friday game we've played, possibly. Hey! I attracted three females. I like that dog on the left. Of course I want to mate. Oh my god, we're all gonna do it at the same time. Oh Jesus! Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. Piggy Danny, the next generation. Oh, he's got an ass flap! Like a pair of long johns, I love it! Mm-hmm. You get an ass flap, you never have to bring a chair anywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Sasquatchulus. 21 months in a row resub. Do appreciate it. Uh, I wish someone could stop the horny board game. <laughs> Ain't no stopping this train. We're sorry. This but is... thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And because nature is cruel, we start off on Danny the First's corpse. Oh, did you die? Yeah, you have to die before you can pass on your genes. It's sad, but that's nature's way. Yeah, dead from fucking... I'm sorry. In Japan, this was originally called Eat and Fuck Kingdom. Not even worth a Danny. Damn, I'm never gonna get one. You'll get one! You'll say something, and don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Broken Scholar, for the subscription. I'm yeah, not lying. Not I'm lying. telling the truth. This is a documentary. This is, again, David Attenborough's Eating Fuck Kingdom. Uh -huh. To repeat Danny's joke and combine it with another one. Thank you. I am nothing if not a thief. 
All right, it does so, a body good. So oh. this is important. The oasis restores your health, and boy, can your health drain quick when you're fighting creatures. Also, Abby has been posting cubivore toys, because they made a whole line of cubivore toys in Japan. That's I saw that in our Discord. I couldn't believe that was true. Do yeah. those do those actually get made? Do they exist? Can you buy them? Well, uh, looks like they were. They came out. Did they come out in Japan? Is that what they were intended for? No idea. It said it was uh, being distributed by Diamond Comics, which I think is a U.S. thing. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are. They are. Uh, Diamond distributors. Or Diamond distributing them. Yeah. Uh. Now I got mad hops. See what I mean about this being a 2002 localization? People don't have mad things anymore. Back then, everyone said they had mad skills, mad hops. What Nobody, happened to those days? Nobody's mad anymore. Wait a minute. <laughs> you guys <gonna> here? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you to an Ethica, three month resub. Dying of laughter, thanks. Sorry, uh, <laughs> uh, your, your insurance should cover this. I think that, you know. And thank you. Thank you, yeah. I want to roll around until I get a scar on my face. That'll inc increase my defense. What? Keep rolling me around and beef up my body. Jump on in. <laughs> yep, this is how you increase your defense stat. <laughs> you roll around and get scars all over your face. <laughs> Again, nature. I didn't make it. Hell, I don't even understand it. We will never skip Flap Day, thank you. <laughs> No, people are horny and mad at the same time now, if you ask me. Yeah, they're yes. horngry. That is... Is everybody just... Does everybody just need a snack? Is that what's going on? Is That's... Like... Man, whenever I start to lose my shit, it's always because I'm hungry. I'm just saying. I'm gonna sound like a New York Times columnist, but maybe if you millennials and zennials and zoomennials ate more than your avocado toasts and oh your boy, here we go. and your kombuchas and your and your coffee with butter in it, you could you could have a normal time in your life and not be so angry and stop telling me to shut up on Twitter. I'm just saying. Maybe. Oh, to live in such a world. I'm a perpial. Now this form gives you the power to back up real fast. Like this. It's actually yeah. faster than moving. Is it faster than the run? <laughs> uh, it's about the same. Nuclear potato? Uh, I mentioned the coffee with butter because I actually went to a place that sold that. I had some and it was the worst thing I've had in my life. Uh, thank you to IAS for the 25 bits. Uh, they are not going to show for Subway again because it's over. <laughs> but... The flag looks like a fruit roll-up, so snap into it. All right, it does. It does. It looks like a tasty pride roll-up. Nice, thank you. They make pride roll-ups, like you know. Man, that's a marketing slam dunk right there. Pride lunchables. All you gotta do is make fruit roll-ups in the shape of all the different uh, queer flags. You got an audience there. Everyone loves fruit roll-ups. I actually didn't get my coffee at. Uh, I know Bulletproof sells that uh, that coffee. I didn't actually get it. I got it at a local place, and they called it. They didn't even call. They called it like. The bullet. So it's like, I don't know if they're knocking it off or something, and yeah. It's like getting shot. It was like, it also had maple syrup in it instead of sugar, and then some, like, coconut stuff that makes you fart, and... <laughs> it sucked. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just... sure that's why they put it in there, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm doing some, some Friday talk here. This is a little too loose. I should be talking about the game, not about the bad thing I had on Yeah, we're talking about nature. Yeah. Not about butter coffee. Oh, you can't run for too long. You get winded. Oh, okay. Oh, Bulletproof is just the name of what you call it? Okay, I have no idea. I... I don't... I don't eat food! What do I look like, a cubivore? You know, there'd be less problems if there were less carnivores and more cubivores. True. That was just a bonus snack, I guess. So is, what, is the difference between being a carnivore and a cubivore just like... My hump points went up! All right. Chat sure loves some points. Yeah, you would. <laughs> now, some of these things you can eat, they're actually not good. They decrease your HP and make you weaker. Mm. Uh, let me go ahead and have a look at what I am right now. 
Attack 7 is pretty good for this point in the game. Defense could be better. But my main concern is we have a boss coming up. Uh-oh. And I don't know if eating more animals is going to be better or worse for me. Yeah, it looks like this has the highest attack, so let's go ahead and stick with this. Alright. Oh, I can't go yet. I gotta eat more of those, uh, color-restoring bugs, or whatever they are. Alright, so does anyone actually have first-hand experience with this game? Did you play it when it was new? And if so, what did you think? I'm so curious. Because <laughs> there's, like, nothing else at the GameCube or on any system at this time that was like this in 2002. I played it. I rented it back in the day, and it disturbed me. But I really liked it. I was like, this is really unsettling, and I love it. It's really different, but it does have kind of a dour tone to it, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Like, everything's just about eating and mating. There's more to life than that, supposedly. Alright, need one more. I don't think I want to eat these. Okay, yeah, folks, some folks in chat have played it. Uh, <laughs> poor Splatter Pop uh, played it, got bored, and sold it, and they wish they kept it. Yeah, this would have been a good one to keep. Boy, let me tell you, another rare game that recently cropped up for GameCube is a game called Go Go Hyper Grind, which, if you were at GameStop any time in the early 2000s, they had tons of copies of that. They could not get rid of them. Mm -hmm. That was an Atlas-published skateboarding game with John Crickfalusi character designs. Years and years, it was a $10 game. You couldn't get rid of it if you were selling it on eBay. Then in 2016, it turned into a $100 game. Mm. No idea why. I guess people just suddenly realized, oh yeah, this is an Atlas game. They probably made, like, zero copies. Do I want to eat this? I want to eat this. This might be a mistake. I have blue. They mutated. Actually, that might be helpful, so it's good that we got this. Yeah, there's lots of different stats, including your lock-on range. And, as you imagine, that's pretty important. But it did lower our HP, which I didn't like. Alright, chat is, uh, multiple people in chat have mentioned that GoGo Hypergrind. Not good. Not good. I've heard it isn't. No, I've never played it. It looked interesting. I always meant to pick it up, but for some reason never did. Oh, it's night time. Actually, maybe I should be... No, fuck it. I want to push my luck. Alright. Push it to the limit. Because this is the point where you might fall asleep in another similarity to uh, Tale of the Sun. Where's that last color bug? I don't want to eat you. Don't care. <laughs> Give me bug. Is that it? The green thing on the radar? It, it? No, it's just a creeper. I, <laughs> yeah, it's just a weird grass guy. What sucks is stuff only appears when you get close to it. There it is. Okay, so we can go fight the boss, but what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for morning, because eventually you do fall asleep. And I kind of don't want to fall asleep in front of the boss. Oh yeah, they'll, uh, they'll eat you. Yeah. Alright, Chai, I'm glad y'all appreciate the, uh, the character, the characters in a go-go hyper grind, but remember, it is Wednesday. Save some that for Friday. <laughs> that did have a, a furry aesthetic, didn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna look at one of the characters. Yeah! Wow, okay. It had a sexy furry aesthetic. Danny, you're not... We both can't accidentally sound horny here. <laughs> okay? People are gonna suspect that we... we no, no. That's an interesting aesthetic, though. My name is Penny. Anyways, no. No, I'm focusing on... on Cube of War. Oh, waiting's boring. Let's go fight him. We'll fall asleep halfway through. It'll be fine. Cool. I can't even imagine... The Boy Scout Beast has three pieces of meat on him. 
Not only that, he's a big bugger. Oh, that's a curse word in the UK. That's, that's, yeah. Thanks, Atlas. I mean, this is a USA game. They could get away with saying that. Am I being scared away? Oh, I see. I hope I didn't aggro them. I'll just take a nap in the lake, it's fine. <laughs> Is he gonna attack you while you're sleeping? That would suck. Oh my god, Danny. That is a thing that happens in Tale of the Sun. You can fall asleep while chasing a mammoth. I like how the sun blinks on like a fluorescent light. This game has style, for sure. That was really polite of him not to fight you. Yeah, that was nice of him. Oh, nice horn and hump points. Okay, we got 29 HP, two full health potions. I think we're ready for this guy. Oof. First I gotta take care of his buddies. And unfortunately, you can't really kite them away. They all kind of stick together. That's what good animals do. I'm gonna get... Okay, I got one of them. Good. Okay, good. Eat him up in front of his brothers and sisters. <laughs> Nature's cruel, man. It's a... <laughs> Nature don't care. It's a cube cube world, I guess. For sure. Oh, Ooh. this guy's tapping you hard. Yeah, he is. Oh! Thank God for your potion, I guess. That was, that was fucking close. Oh my God, that guy just getting your ass kicked. Oof, that was a block. I blocked that and it caused 15 points of damage. Run, Danny, run, run, run. This guy sucks. This guy sucks a lot. You're still alive, you're still alive. You're still alive. Oh, oh. Pig boy, leave. Pig boy, run. Pig okay, boy, I made it to the yourself. oasis. Good. Now, unfortunately, the boss can also use the oasis, so I don't want to give him this idea. Oh, good, he ran away. Oof. Surprising the camera hasn't given me as many issues as I had last time I played this. It was a real, a real bugger, as this game says. Pardon the, the language. Let's see, uh... Poor Llama. Llama says my sister 100 percent of this game multiple times and without saying anything, traded in my complete copy to GameStop. A decision you both regret. <laughs> oh no, that sucks, I'm sorry. Well, at least you got to spend some time with it. Okay. We have killed your offspring. Now it's time to kill you. Well, that guy's gonna get pissed. Okay, I think the damage can be mitigated if we don't turn our back. Yeah. It's when you turn your back that you get those 14 HP damages. And it looks like you can lunge twice before you gotta rest, so maybe I should block. Shit. You're good. I think we got this. We do. Got this guy on the ropes. I gotta kill this toilet. Unfortunately, this is just one of three flaps. We have to eat the rest of his flaps as well. But he's wounded now. Oh god. See what I said? Just like a nature documentary. That's like, yeah, we need... We need, like, a David Attenborough type. I've mentioned it, like, five times, but I'm just saying. <laughs> if this game was remade, it could definitely use a narrator, for sure. Got him. Good. Okay. That went way better than I thought it would. Yeah, I don't like the phrase meat flaps either, you Uzi. But... You defeated the Boy Scouts. Thank you. And I got extra flaps. Meat flaps. Please, Danny. So what'd you get this time? 
Oh, we got, got raw meat. meat. Uh, I believe it's raw bone, is what they called it. I just want to say, come out ahead before this becomes a rumor, we will never release a shirt that says, Eat My Flaps. We can put, like, cute Bart Simpson on it. What about Eat My Raw Bone? You are trying your best to get me to say Danny. I am cool, calm, and collected today. Alex is cool as a cucumber. Not gonna have any of my shit. I'm gonna... Not gonna shout at anybody. That's Frog Bog. Oh, I love the Frog Bog. That's my favorite game. We took out the boss and all of his underlings. And now the meat is ours. We moved up on the chart. P. Danny, 12 mutations. Danny, this game is fucking weird. It's pretty weird. It's pretty strange. I would venture to say it is the strangest GameCube game, except for the game we're going to play after this. I'm a big boned pig now, I am. With the raw bones power, quote the raw bone, nevermore. What? <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god. Life as a pig is sweet, like sweet and sour pork. 100 bits from Cambertian and he says, Alex, don't yell Danny challenge. I'm doing very good at it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Pro. I bet I could keep it up through the rest of the show. I bet I won't do it. To rise above this curly pigtail, I must whistle and walk down the trail toward raw life, looking for a wife, the consummate, the perfect female. I will not yell Danny. I will not yell Danny. That's not me. That's this 2002 ass translation. Alright, Dr. Boogaloo also mentions Q-Hero was designed by Intelligent Systems Naohiko Aoyama, who was the art director of Paper Mario and co-director of uh, Color Splash and Sticker Star. Oh, damn. This has Paper Mario DNA in it. Along with pigs, bugs, <laughs> all sorts of DNA. Danny, chat wants you to say female like Female. Female. Thank you. Oh, I got four Females. That bunny is really cute, I'm sorry. There's that dog again! What? No! Let someone else have a have a piece of this. Danny! Oh, I did it. God damn it. Nice. I win. I was doing so good! But you had to talk about people getting a piece of... Oh, no, no. It's cool. It's cool. I won't do it again. Anyways, now you're... I like those kids. odds. So this is where it gives you the option to quick change into one of these characters. Do we want Cranky? Look or, at Cranky's bo body. Or do we want Bongo? <laughs> I think I already know the answer to this. Cranky, you you went with that dog lady. Look at that body. Yeah. One lady. You yeah, that is that. that is all Bongo. We got to go with Bongo. Bongo looks like an IKEA nightmare. <laughs> Then. Yeah, exactly. Eat your meatballs. <laughs> yeah, Krongling. Cranky has a great wobbly IKEA shell vibe, yeah. Y'all better watch out. I got teeth now. That's a big old tooth too. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I guess his name is Bongo, so it'd be like the Bongo Shurf Durf. <laughs> like twenty torque wrenches to put him together. Let's go ahead and do one more level. Oh, Danny the second, rest in peace. I'm improved. I'm a Swedish chair or something now. But by now, you get the point. The whole game kind of goes on like this. There's a lot more complex animals. The fights get tougher. But you also level up. Like, I can now bite off two pieces of meat at once. So that last boss, I would only have to knock him down twice instead of three times. But back to business. Business being eating. Mm -hmm. I can tear off lots of meat. Oh my god! Oh, okay, you look cool now. I have legs. Bongo, you are- the way that your legs move is very upsetting. Y'all are so fucked now that I have legs. Y'all don't even know. Look at this, I can actually run. Cool what's what's my backup like? Oh, it's a little slow, but I can compensate. 
I've never seen how far this game goes. Like, do you get to be huge eventually? Just having like a million flaps? I personally have no idea. I, I'm curious. I'm curious too. Like, I bet that's how it shakes out, right? I'm assuming at least 10 flaps tops, but maybe, maybe less. The love bug. Guess what you do to the love bugs? You eat them. Of course. A concentrated love. Whoa, I make a horrifying noise, noise when I lunge now. Did you I hear that? I do not like that tooth. <laughs> Alright, uh, you, uh, Chad is requesting that you eat Herbie. Eat Herbie? You know. The love bug? Yes. <laughs> what if I could? Listen, we all want to take down that asshole car, but we can't. Man, he only makes that noise when he's launching towards something, too. You can hear the bloodlust in his voice. Personally, I like the sound of that red eagle that plays every two seconds in this soundscape. <laughs> God bless that. That's that, is that like a that's a stock somewhere? But... It is. All right, thank you, Game Quitter, for the twelve month reset. We appreciate it, and thank you, Pigman, for no, I'm sorry, Bongo, for uh, getting trying to snap that shit off. Yeah, there's some way you can do this. You have to stretch it out. To really exercise your teeth. Man, he's supposed to back up. Oh no, wait! I know what to do. There we go. There you go. That levels you up. It's like a, one of them solo flex machines. It is! Damn! Can you, like, level up all the way? Yeah. Piggy's gonna get in the Taibo. I got a tongue now. Look at it. Ah, it's like it's like a it's like a half of a of a of a texture plane there. Mm hmm. Oh, this is getting good. Yeah, I can I can see getting Chibi Robo vibes from this, but I think Chibi Robo is way less disturbing. That's also a pretty unusual game, though. You're right. It's definitely unconventional. Now, is Chibi-Robo a platformer? That's been something I've been meaning to ask y'all, because we may have to rank it. I remember it is, right? You can jump? Yeah, I remember jumping, but I don't know if that's like, you know... All I remember is pulling up your little electric tail and putting it on your head. It is on the 3DS, but it is not... Uh, I'm seeing it is and it is not. Mmm. It is more like Zelda on uh, other systems. Okay. Man, we ought to play Chibi Robo. That would fit right in with those weird GameCube games. I tell you, there's nothing weirder than a weird GameCube game, you know? Yeah, actually, Fanboy Master is mentioning that they're sad that we didn't get stuff like Giftpia and whatever. And I was thinking about, yeah, oh, GameCube had some bizarre fucking games. Giftpia was that Love Delic game, right? Yeah, yeah. At some point, for sure, we need to play Chulip. Oh, my God. Because... I love Chulip, but it's a game I would never wish anyone to play. It's much better watched than played, for sure. Yeah, I tried and I couldn't, but I like watching you play it back in the day. You need the manual. The manual has a full walkthrough and the game's impossible without it. Very strange game, but very good. And hell, Moon, Moon Remix RPG was recently announced for a US uh, release, too. Oh, is that a GameCube game? That is a, a Love Delic game. Oh, okay, okay. I need critters. Gotta eat them up. Mm, delicious grass. Wasn't something translating gift peer, or did I make that up? I don't know. That's a lot of creatures. So many delicious meats. I gotta. But where? Uh oh. So 
I guess those are supposed to be wolves, huh? <laughs> they sure seem like it. Oh, it's a scoutmaster. He's one tough dude. We got 74 HP, I feel pretty confident. Yeah, let's just go after the boss. Okay, nope, that's a bad idea. Let's go after the underlings. But where do my hump points come in? Don't those just help you, like, recover faster? I think so, yeah. I'm sad they don't actually give you a real hump. See, what we need to do is play that CDI game called Where the Camel Got His Hump, so we can finally know. You know, we should just play more CDI games. Let's just, let's just, let's just you know, switch to a CDI-only format, just, you know. There's some people out there who want that, so don't go teasing them. Okay, I won't. They I would won't. just love it if we turned into a pure CDI channel. No, no, I'm... I am not going to play Girls Club for eight hours a day to try to, like, become a, a Girls Club speedrunner. Well, I mean, it's not the worst path to take. Uh, I recently got a sealed copy of Girls Club, meaning I got to see the box for the first time. The box claims that there's 30 different boys you can date. 30. That's a lot of boys. That's a lot of FMV clips. So eventually we do need to return it, if just to return to it, just to see the different boys. What's funny to me is the cover of Girls Club does, it has all the girls on it except Jenny. Poor Jenny! Yeah, poor... On top of all the... Like, poor glasses, she got left out. Oh, Jenny. She's, uh... Monica, however, is featured prominently on the cover. Like, she's at the top of the heap. I bet Monica pushed out Jenny. Oh, you know she did. Monica and Jenny do not get along. No. Oh, that caused a lot of damage. I'm an eating machine. Jesus Christ. Oh shit! The flap's coming out of my butt now. I think that's called a tail. It's a butt flap. <laughs> Crumbling says Monica told Jenny the wrong location for the photo shoot. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> so now Jenny is in like a. a she, poor Jenny is in like the VFW hall. <laughs> Yeah, just meet us, meet us at the Gold's Gym. It'll be fine. <laughs> what is... Okay, I see. Okay. Oh, I got some... I got some health now. This game's getting serious all of a sudden. Now picture this. Ocarina of Time. Except Link goes around lunging with his mouth open at people, trying to eat them. You think it could work? You know what? I think I think that could work. I are think people that... ready for this? Okay, first of all, no. They are not ready for <laughs> this. But it doesn't matter. Even though the people are not ready for this, I think the people deserve this. I think the people need this. I think... However, I worry it will cause riots. I worry it will cause <laughs> violence, you know? Like, it'll be a destructive game. People do get upset when the Zelda they love is messed with. I think that we shouldn't release it because, it's, you know, people will watch it and then they will start to do, you know, terrible things like chew on their friends and things like that. And we can't have that. People weren't ready for Toon Link. You think they're going to be ready for Vor Link? No. <laughs> Sir, I object. <laughs> people are like, that's just Twilight Princess. That's Twilight Princess. <laughs> oh, you're right. He was a wolf. Link is already part of the furry community. Welcome, Link. This guy doesn't look so good. Oof. Ooh. Big hit. I See mean, what I mean about the camera, though? <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Yeah. It does help that you can auto-center. Honestly, that's more useful than using the manual camera. One to go. God, this is intense. Go, Danny, go. Got him. Eat his meat. Hmm. Raw life. <laughs> that is my favorite Blur song. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at me. I'm like an unfolded Amazon box. <laughs>
the perfect, the perfect pig. pig. Oh, the ultimate. Okay, so I think I think we have a good stopping point for this game. We need to find the ultimate in the next level, if that's even possible. I'm that rugged male. That's a good way to describe me. She's huge. I love her. Yep. I didn't see that coming. All right. But then again, again, I guess you never do. Thank you to FM Town's party for the resub. They say, this game started my love of weird games. It costs too much money, and now I'm a broken person. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the world. Piggy Danny has made 16 mutations before being eaten up. I've never seen this far in the game. Godzooks! Oh boy. No! Oh no! Boy. No! 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 The, no! 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 This is just no. giving the people what they want. No! 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 Look, I, I came so far. I would strengthened my skills. I grew three limbs. I set the swine world record. Then they just ate me. I didn't know it was that kind of, whatever. Whatever, it's normal. Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. Normal game. Woo. Get some of that good loving. Ah, if only I wasn't eaten and was born again instead. Mm. What a strange game. That was like mid-level too. I didn't see that coming at all. What? Excuse me? Oh my god, I have to go over the rainbow bridge? Are you shitting me right now? You really gonna make me go over the rainbow bridge after I got I got eight? You think I'm ready to that for that? You think I can handle that? Yeah, here we are. The game does in fact make you go over the rainbow bridge after you were eaten. So, uh... So I guess, uh... Oh, you can't. Oh, I see. What a game. I thought I knew what to expect, but I guess not. So I guess these pig, this pig, uh, I guess, I guess they have religion? That's cool. I love that the halo is attached <laughs> via a little wire. <laughs> That's so good. This game has nice lighting. Very limited use of shading. Yep, it's a road. It's called a rainbow road. It's, it's the road go, that you go when you, you die. die. And we are, we are die. We are very die. We are died. We are very, I mean, look at us. Oh, these angels look delicious. Can you eat the angels? And, okay. I hope you can't, okay. I'm glad you can't, you can't eat the, I'm glad. I'm glad you can't eat your fellow, uh, dead. That would raise all kind of yeah. meta metaphysical questions that you don't want to think about. I don't know. Oh, you really can't? Okay, well, that's for the best. Okay. I'm gonna repeat this joke because... You, you've been a, very supportive of us for a while, so we do appreciate you, Uzi, but... <laughs> Warhalla! <laughs> there it is. The ultimate joke. Thank you. Midget bugs. We've we've ascended to Vorhalla. Like the Vikings before us. Before us. Sir! Uh -huh. Sir! What the plants are dead too? Yeah, it's gonna be fun when you die and and, and St. Peter is like, listen, I'd let you in, but have you seen Let me tell you every single Vor joke you made publicly. To many people. <laughs> spreading misery on planet Earth willingly. Oh, we just gotten used to living and now we're dead. Well Yeah, if you've ever posted a war joke in chat, sorry. 
Sorry about, uh... It's not looking good. Sorry about tempting you to hell by... Shouldn't listen you. to us. Mm-hmm. We're bad influences. We're not role models. We're streamers. <laughs> Chat's like, I'm going to Borgatory. It's where I belong. <laughs> I like Borgatory. Revenant says, I can't wait to die and go to heaven to get the tutorial for the stuff I was supposed to do while I was alive. You know, I always envision that's what heaven is like. Oh, that would suck mistakes. so bad. And they're like, ah, here's what you should have done. All right, you missed these tutorial uh, tool tips in life. Now you have to spend infinite years learning them in the uh. afterlife. St. Peter rolls an AV card into the room to show you <laughs> your best. And we've come full circle. Four jokes. Okay, we're all seeing suggestions of the phrase purgavory, which... Mm, that works, good. too. Wow, I'm learning so much. The meatier, the mightier. I don't know, I'll go to bat for this localization. It's... it's pretty... It's a... it's a tangy localization, let's put it that way. It's got some flavor to it. I didn't mean it that way, Alex. No, no, I saw... You know what? Screw it. I'll just repeat this. Uh, heaven. Heaven is a place where nothing... Nothing evil happens. <laughs> Thank you, Revenant. Thank you, uh, Travel Luxury, for the 100-bit Vortex compounded. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Dante's in Vorno? All right! Mm. All right! We're good! We're cool! Is it time for the next game? I think it is very clearly time for the next game. But it looks like we've been reborn. A fresh start. A bear! And thus the journey begins anew as Grizzly Danny. That's cool. I'm gonna keep this save file. I wanna keep going. You should. We should play this again. I wanna actually see this all the way through and... If I ever get to an interesting part, I may just keep the save file and then I'll like save again near the end. I would like to show more of this game, assuming there is more to show. But from what I've heard, uh, the length of a one-hour stream is pretty much the perfect length to show off Cubivore. You know what it's about? It's about eating and being eaten. Eating and being eaten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also mating. You know, that's just how it goes. It's a good game, it's unlike anything else, and it's always going to be GameCube exclusive because there's no chance in hell Nintendo's ever going to remake this. Absolutely not! So please enjoy it on your GameCube or modded Wii, but do check it out. Highly recommended. Cubivore? What a what a weird, weird game. But you know what's even weirder? Hmm. Our next game. What is it? Our next game is Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse. And this time around, I don't want to mess up the intro. I want to get y'all properly hyped for this game. Okay. So who here has heard of this game, much less played it? I'm not even going to go with played. Like, have you even heard of this game? Look, uh, why don't you put up the cover, Alex? Have you... Imagine this on the side of a milk carton, and I'm saying, have you seen this game? <laughs> this is a Nintendo-published, Capcom-developed Disney game. Nintendo, Capcom, Disney, all brought together for one game on the Nintendo GameCube. A once in a lifetime opportunity. Like, you thought Square Enix and Disney were teaming up for Kingdom Hearts? No, that ain't shit. This is Nintendo, Capcom, and Disney. Moreover, the title is Magical Mirror, which you would think, given Capcom's past Disney games, like Magical Quest for the Super Nintendo, you might think, oh, that's, that's a continuation of the series. My god, they brought it to GameCube. And if you look at the back, like you're gonna do now. Oh, yeah, I'll show it. Hold on. Oh my god. It looks like this. Now, I don't know if you can read what it says, but take note that it gives no indication of what the game is like. Now, the back of the box is usually where you put the premise, the features, the stuff that makes you want to buy it. Not in this game's case. All it says is Mickey is on an adventure, and also it links up with the GBA version of Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse, which actually did get a re-release for GBA the same year this came out. Yeah, let me zoom in on that here. So that might lead you to think, oh my god, Capcom is continuing its wonderful Magical Quest platformer series on the GameCube with Nintendo's backing. This can only be amazing. It is amazing. Let's play it. I am a little terrified, but yeah, let's see. 
All right, here you go. Here we go. I think we're going to let Alex play this one. Oh, you know what? Fair enough. You are the Disney fan in the household. So have you that ever heard so of this? Accusatory. Have you ever heard of this game? Did you see it when you were working at GameStop? Yes, I have seen this game before. I have seen it around. And it, I know nothing of it. I've, I just remember seeing it being like, okay, cool. It's a video game. The thing that amazes me is that no one talks about this game. This is a first party video game by Capcom. Well, first party published anyway. Just this real quick. And yeah. after seeing this game in action the other day, I still can't believe it exists. And Alex, I think I want your take on it. Okay. All right. Let's see. Wow, Fanboy Master actually played this. Yeah, it didn't get reviewed kids. anywhere. Kids and normal. I guess I'm normal today. Yeah, you're normal. Is the screen jittery? Uh, Does this have some interlacing going on, maybe? Let's see. Yes, it is jittery. Oh my god. It's really jittery. Oh my god. I'll get to the game and see if it continues. Okay. This may just be the menus. Let's please be normal game. A mob filter. What can we do to 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 mitigate that, if anything? Okay, it seems better here. Okay, good. Mickey always keeps a mirror beside his bed so he can look at himself. Now, this is somewhat of an adaptation of an old Mickey Mouse short called Through the Mirror. Oh, I remember hearing... Yeah, that one. The one that was based on Through the Looking Glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Parks worked on that one. And yeah, Mickey does not have his tail on the cover, which is really weird to me. That, yeah. Everything about this is weird. Mickey ain't got a tail. It's a Nintendo published game no one has ever acknowledged the existence of. Oh, it switches to progressive for the game itself. That's nice. <laughs> but not okay. the menus. I got it! I'll leave my body and go to the hell dimension! Oh. Suck it, corporeal world! His tail is still gone! What the fuck? They couldn't render it. Oh, I guess. That's weird. Why does this weird me out? Why am I obsessed with Mickey's ass? <laughs> Other fun facts, this game has four directors, uh, but no people credited as designers. It's mostly just animators and programmers that are listed. What? <laughs> also, those directors are credited with games including Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter and Mega Man X7. This game was actually developed concurrently with Dragon Quarter. They both came out the same year, and much of the same staff was working on both. Okay, let's go this way. This is interesting. This is something. But so far, it's obvious it's not a platformer, right? Yeah. So why call it magical yeah. whatever? Go in the right door. <laughs> yeah, that, that uh, raised the warning bells once I saw that the planner of Mega Man X7 was involved. Yeah, I had enough directors, of course it's gonna be good. Go through it again. That oh, he's doing it himself. <laughs> oh boy! The f okay. So have you figured out what kind of game this is yet? Mickey. <laughs> I like dark and edgy Mickey here. It's the fighting freak Mickey. <laughs> A Hey You Pikachu styled game? Good guess. Prince of Persia? Also good guess. Stop right there. Do I get to play? No. That's this game's main claim to fame. It usually plays itself. In fact, if you'd chosen kids mode, you can't save, and in fact, you can't interact because the game plays itself from beginning to end. 
This is a point and click adventure game where there are no stakes and nothing happens. What? What? It's essentially you clicking on things and watching animated scenes. So yeah, kind of like Hey You Pikachu, come to think of it. Now there is a quest, you gotta collect all the different shards of the mirror before you can escape. But other than that, it's very non-linear. It doesn't tell you what to do. And most of the gameplay just involves very simple QTEs. I... An incredibly strange game, given the pedigree and the people who worked on it. Yeah! It strikes me almost as one of those, That's... you know, kids games. Trick? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I... yes, I love tricks! I love Joker's trick. Mickey's trick. Mickey, don't incite. Disney's panic? That's a good way of looking at it. It's just so hard to classify, you know? There's no other game I can say that's really like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mickey, I'll be nicer. Alright, get, get the key, Mickey. I guess you can call it something similar to, like, The Manhole, that classic uh, PC point-and-click adventure game for kids. It's kind of like that. So where... it's the Mickey Hole. I wouldn't call it that at all. Alex! <laughs> there, that's okay, what you turn. wanted. Yes! Yes, I am getting a Dr. Leglula! Uh, <laughs> yes! Okay, it's not just me. Yeah, the animations in this, they remind me of Dr. Legula. They remind me of those algorithm algorithmically generated Disney cartoons that are all over YouTube. Where, like, Mickey gets a lethal injection and shit. Mm -hmm. But, I guess in that sense, this game's way ahead of its time. I just love the fact that the kids mode plays itself. You don't need any input. What? Hell, you rather you don't even need any input for the regular game. Oh, my shadow self! I'm gonna kick his ass! Pregnant Elsa. Yep, she's in here, probably. If I die in the dream, do I die for real? Let's find out. Jesus. Matrix parody. Oh. Damn, Mickey, don't be so hard on yourself. It also reminds me of Pokemon Channel, which was more about watching Pikachu watch TV. Was that a trend on GameCube? Just... Just games that play themselves? The trend of watching TV? 2002 was a weird time. Oh! <laughs> yeah, especially the lack of dialogue is what, and the random, like, Mickey sound samples was reminding me of, like, Pregnant Elsa, Mickey... Yeah, it's... Funny, pregnant. They did it for the audience. Like, you don't want him to say stuff. Like, little kids are gonna play this. Another Matrix parody. God. We get it, Mickey. You think you're Neo. I, I like Mickey bullet time. I thought there was something I had to click. I keep trying to interact. Silly you, expecting to interact. Wow! Okay, now you can interact. <laughs> oh, cool glass! Watch this. Hmm. <laughs> he sure does a lot of thinking. Hmm. It's glass, dude. It's a shard of fucking glass, man. Mickey, get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> Mickey's gonna get eviscerated. I'm so sorry. Mickey, you've wandered in the splatter house by mistake. So, how much interaction have you had so far? You clicked on one door and then one chart of glass. They're going through fucking space?! Saw for kids? <laughs> then you wander into an elk bleed trap, yeah. Oh no, you have to pick up all the shards of glass! Mm -hmm. With your bare- well, no, I guess he has, he has gloves, gloves on. He's yeah. fine. Yeah, Finger Family Mickey Mouse Glass Cut Laceration Dr. Fun. Thank you, Beetle Eggsy. 
Now, if this was advertised as a kid's game, I can understand that. There are games for little kids, storybook software. Uh, we played uh, Mickey's Kitchen or Disney Kitchen a mm -hmm. while back. That was a good kid's game. Yeah. But those games are rated early childhood. The ESRB has a rating for that, so adults don't buy those games thinking they're, you know, all ages mm. material. This game was rated E, implying anyone could enjoy it. When in reality, I don't think anybody can enjoy this. Uh, I'll let you be the judge, though, Alex. Let's go this way. What's in this weird door? Take me to weird door. Please, please do something. Can you open up your sack? Sack. I guess not. Well, let's... Can't do the mirror. Can you go this way? There we go. Let's go this way. Yeah, Freddy Fish was more enjoyable than this. Putt-Putt was more enjoyable than this. It had interaction. I just... Mainly I'm streaming this so I can figure out what the hell is with this game? Why does it exist? Who is this for? Mm -hmm. Mickey doesn't wear clothing, I guess. Just for... I, I guess in the Mirror Universe, Mickey is just a nudist. Uh-huh. It's one of them never nudes. Hey, hey, there's glass in here. You need to pick... You need to touch this... Children, reach... touch this glass! Just reach into this hole and pick up the shard of glass, Mickey. It's right there! God damn it, Mickey! A big shard of glass! Take it! There was a hole here! It's gone now! <laughs> oh, someone else made the joke. Beat me to it. Damn. <laughs> you did it. Listen. Kids, touch shards of glass, just like your pal Mickey. Is that what it is about his face that I find freaky that it looks like he's wearing a mask of his own face? Because it kind of does. It does, especially because the black circles around his eyes. Yeah, the eyes don't really match up. Oh, we got a long game ahead of us. Oh my word. Okay, that's fine. We can do this. I got like what? This hole, it was made for me. <laughs> yeah, 40 minutes left. Oh, this hole was made for me. Now, if people find this game too boring, I do have a backup, but yeah. I wanted to explore this, because what the hell? Yeah, you're never going to see this anywhere, because it's... <laughs> this game must have been so expensive, too, because if nothing else, the rigging and animation's pretty good. I get the feeling they made all that stuff, just deciding that they would add game mechanics later. Okay. We'll figure this out. Yeah, we'll put to together a game based on these assets. Wait, there's a Mickey Mouse stealth game on GameCube? That's the other thing I found out right before the stream. This game has a sequel, and it's a stealth game. Okay. It's called Hide and Sneak. Okay. And it looks even worse than this, if you can believe it. Mickey, Mickey, I found a shard of glass for you! Mickey, Mickey! Okay. Mickey no, no, Mickey, come over here! It's a big <laughs> shard of glass, just for you! <laughs> Point big... him towards the, the door closest to us. Okay. Maybe that'll make him do it. Trip. Check this out. It's big glass. Big old glass. Total. Oh man, that's frustrating. Try this door. Okay, shard of glass right behind you. You're gonna cut yourself. It's gonna be disgusting, <laughs> and they don't. Okay. Can I go in that door? And there were plenty of good Disney games at this point, including Magical Quest, which got released on GBA the same year. Let me tell you another thing about that GBA link cable compatibility. No one knows what it does. No one. There's a walkthrough on GameFAQs. They only guess at what it does. There's a review on GameSpot that also just guesses what it does because they couldn't figure it out. As far as I know, no one has ever tried. Mickey. So I'm now accepting theories. Oh my god. Mickey. Don't worry okay. about it. It's normal, Danny. I'm accepting theories right now as to what the GBA link cable accomplishes. Does anyone know? Mm -hmm. Incorrect answers only. Okay, get on the bed, and then bounce up to the keys. Come on. You're like an asshole. Okay, now get the key. You! Normal. I'm normal. I'm fine. The key is not upsetting me. There was apparently an ad where it said it's a kid's game that can be enjoyed by adults, too. I don't think they got that across nearly well enough. 
<laughs> if if this is this simple of a game, they should have been upfront about calling this a kid's game. Yeah, jump out the window, Mickey. Okay. Here's the other thing about this. After the sequel, Hide and Sneak, was released, Mickey Mouse didn't star in another game for a decade until, uh, what was it called? Epic Mickey came out. This game was almost the end of Mickey Mouse's career in video games. Fine. It's fine. I'm not frustrated. I don't... Maybe I need an item I don't have, right? That's it, right? Oh. You know as good as I do. Alright, I'll have to leave the key then. Mickey got blacklisted, yeah. This game was terrible for his career. I... Hmm? <laughs> and it's still like, please, God, get the key! And I'm like, I see the key, I know the key. Luigi's in another room vacuuming up ghosts. Maybe that was it. They wanted to make a Luigi's Mansion, but with Mickey. Don't touch Mickey. Don't touch Mickey. Can oh, you can make his, his ears wiggle. Alright. Hop on the bed again. What does it expect you to do? Okay, when I was doing it, there was, like, another star that popped up. Yeah, point at Mickey while, while he's doing that. Oh, or the bed? It looks like I need two stars. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that means. Go but... find the stars. Can I pull his ears? God, if only. I know you can't pull his tail, because he doesn't have one. It's messed up. <laughs> Ghost Donald! Ghost Donald? Look at Ghost Donald. <laughs> Free me! Free me! I can see what you mean by this being a surrealist stage play. Yeah, this... Ah, oh, it doesn't even feel like an adventure game. It just feels like a pointed stuff and watch things happen game. Alright, we got a souvenir. Or a souvenir for our fucking house? Donald's soul is your souvenir. Okay, the TV, I have seen this part. This is a part where you need to do a QTE. There will be a thing at the bottom left once you click on the TV. Alright. Poke. Hmm. 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 Try it again. Or maybe you need a remote. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I have two stars now, so I'm gonna go try to get that key. Okay, good idea. Shen Mouse 2, thank you for that. Get in. <laughs> yeah, where's the where's the HD remake of this game? Nintendo's been remaking everything for Switch lately. Y'all should ask him for this. And by him, I mean Tom Nintendo. Click the bed. Click the bed. Trick. <laughs> gotcha. What do you think? You have any idea why this game exists? Because I'm waiting to hear it. I don't. This game feels like it's for the PC. Kinda. Yeah, it does feel like one of those storybook games, just with an extreme amount of visual polish. Watch the TV. I know you can interact with the TV. I'm gonna go to this terrible broke- okay, fine, I'm gonna go to the TV. Right, bottom left corner, you said. Yeah. I like how slowly he does everything. Yeah, I may have picked up a remote in my brief playthrough. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay, there you item, go. All right. But I don't have the item. Well, time to mm -hmm. find a remote so I can watch TV and uh, be like, oh, I own every channel now. <laughs> First oh. fox, then the world. You can't escape me. Okay. What okay. kind of bullshit is Mickey going to do now? 
Well, there's a fun train. Maybe he'll do something pleasant. Shut up, Mickey. That's not fit. What was with his eyes? <laughs> Why were his eyes like that? All right, first Marvel, then Star Wars, then Fox, then the world. All right, I'm not seeing anything I can do in, in here. Other Click than... on the duck. Okay. okay. Remove that duck from the train tracks. I can't. What? Just farts when I try to do it. Mickey, you fucking dope. Quit standing there. Yeah, he sucks. This is, I don't think I can do anything in here. I tried that, that. Wait. Can I just go to the train? Can you just can you just move the train, my guy? <laughs> just... ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. No, don't. Whatever. Mickey, Mickey, why don't you go this way? Let's leave this room. This is not a place of. This is not a holy place. Let's go. Man, I gotta play that stealth game now. Cause this game, I think it got fours and fives among the few people who reviewed it, out of 10. Can I tweak his nose? And the stealth game got like a 2 out of 10 for most places. Okay. And we can go on that child's rocking horse. <gasps> Trick. Trick! <laughs> Wait a minute. This is Ill Bleed. Why do they make Ill Bleed for kids? They made Ill Bleed with Mickey! Hey, you found a shroud of glass! It almost, it almost slammed you in the head! Cool! <laughs> you almost had massive lacerations all over your face, friend. Get that glass. There's some angles where Mickey does not look right. Uh, Crumbo, Mickey is going around grabbing glass shards. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I think you've made... progress? You found a couple of shards. Still looking for the gameplay. Well, I mean, we're finding glass shards, so that's something. Oh no, don't let children watch us! We're <laughs> terrible influences! Now, I tell you what, if anyone has seen this game, it's kids on YouTube. Because if you watch long plays of this, those long plays have millions of views. And you know what? I bet watching this as a movie works way better than as a game. Maybe it's just that. Maybe Disney was just ahead of the curve making YouTube content in the form of GameCube games. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh! Found some, found some more glass! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a severed head! What did you... Oh, a flashlight. Okay. Useful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so there, there's, uh, Beetle is showing the nephew the, the, the visuals, but not, not Good. the audio. That's the correct choice. Thank you. That, that's actually, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. No one, no one needs to. All right, why don't you check out one more room? Okay. And then we play our final game. Okay. Because this game's starting to get to me. To you? I don't so, know. Chat seems to like it. Okay, well, if people are into it, we'll keep playing it. David Cage's Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse. Uh... I just don't get it. Maybe it's just the fact that I can't compare it to anything else. That was a positive in Cubivore's case. Alright, let's find one more new room at least. And... Is this the next cult hit, do you think? Are all the Let's Players going to be all over this game? Are people going to be routing this game? <laughs> Do I need to route this game? What would a speedrun even be? Okay. Fastest to click on all the things. Can you click on the couch? Is there like a remote hidden in the couch? Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to click on this chair first. Nothing. How about here? Nothing. How about the ottoman? Well, wait. He has to examine it. Oh, it's not popping up the, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Stupid cage, there'd be a scene with Mickey peeing in the bathtub. <laughs> Mickey's a freak, that's how he goes. He does it at other people's houses too, doesn't even ask. Danny 
fucking Bob Iger is gonna come is gonna send his assassins to our house. Look, Bob, explain this game, then you can assassinate me. All I want is an explanation. Okay. You soul of Donald on TV. <laughs> Trap him in the television dimension. This is a an early version of Gone Home. Mickey's walking simulator. Yeah, I go. Go in there. Here? Okay. What? Mm -hmm. But it gave you the key option even Okay, there we go. Goof could pass. <laughs> it's a terrible game, but there's been some good jokes. Hey, it's ham. Can we smash that fucker? Smash that piggy bank. Examine it again. Will he do the same thing? Hmm. This oh. is a tricky one. There's a gear in there? Hmm. Oh, item. Yeah, maybe not the flashlight. He gave me a look. <laughs> what are you, stupid? I mean, Mickey, you know, but I guess. Can you use Donald's ghost? <laughs> No, they won't let you. It sucks. Yeah, you only had Mickey, one... Mickey, don't make that face. You only had one usable item in your interface. That face is bad. That's a real bad That's face. That's a bad face. That might be my thumbnail for this episode. <laughs> okay, whoever's calling Mickey a Chad... <laughs> okay. Oh! Put the thing in the piggy bank. Yeah, it'll work. Gotcha. Somehow. Oh, it's Mickey Bucks. His own currency. Alright, Mickey. Okay. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's looking ass. <laughs> hmm. This is a tricky one. Put put the coin in. Mickey, let me put the coin in. Hmm. I think you got this. Hot dog. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, why are you looking at me like you expect that I know what to do? Does it need more coins? I think you just lost your coin. Oh, that sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Mickey, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking so fun and happy today. You can't get that star. It's too... Oh, nope. I can't. Okay. Get it. Get it, Mickey. Just click on it enough, I guess. Yeah, this game's sound folder is probably just like, ha ha, dot wave, and uh, oh boy, Get hot it, dog. Mickey, Mickey. Where'd my tail go? Why am I southern? Yeehaw, it's Mickey. Mickey wearing the Mickey mask. I love, I love that face he just made. He looked really unsure about himself. Tell you what this reminds me of, the freaking uninvited for NES. <laughs> Where you're just wandering around this haunted mansion, only you're not killed every five seconds. That would make this game better. Have I been this way? I have no idea where to go next. I think this is where I may have came from. Let me... Uzi says there's reviews that point out it's only fun for babies, and also babies can't figure it out. <laughs> okay, this, I've been this way, let's go back. Whoa, 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 There was something in my closet. Hold on. Who's trapped in there? Um, Go let him out. Okay, let him... Okay. It's Donald, probably. I bet it's Goofy. Okay. Mickey's boyfriend. Ah, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I hate the way they invert the colors. <laughs> Oh my god, Mickey. That's not nice. <laughs> well, maybe with that key you can open up the door in the next hallway. He's got the key. Gotcha. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Do you get it? Okay. No. 
I... Hmm. Chad, do you want us to move on? Because we can. I mean, if you'd like it, we totally could. No, no, no issues, you know? Pretty, pretty... I'm about half and half. Yeah. I could see more of this, but then again, I got a game I could show off in like 15 minutes. Yeah, so, yes, yes, this game's too smart for us. Go right ahead. Yes, let's <laughs> okay. go. I'm seeing some no bananas. Well, that's Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse, and after playing it for half an hour, I still don't get it. Why does it exist? If you marketed this as like a point-and-click adventure games game for young children, that I could see, but... It being a mass market release of a game that has no point or challenge or really anything to it. Can I can I read something from Chat Danny? Okay, please. Uzi says from another review, the ghost terrifies my kids. We all strongly dislike this game. Very, very frustrating on all levels. Wow. So even if it is for you, supposedly, you still might not like it. And that's as good a way I can think of as to sum up Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse. Why wasn't it a platformer? You called it <laughs> Magical. Like, you made three games called Magical Quest on Super Famicom. What are you thinking? Maybe at some point it was supposed to be a platformer, and then they just kind of had to sew it together into a weird point-and-click game. Maybe, you know, Eisner didn't want that at the time. They are like, we need this to be obtuse and terrible. Hand me that controller, would you? Okay. There you go. Yeah, the... the <laughs> The orders from on high was, yes, make this terrible. Make this bad. It was like, m -m make my video game bad. <laughs> so, let's finish this off with a game that I haven't even tested yet. This is a good idea. And it's a Japanese GameCube game, so it could format my memory card. Oh, sweet. We're going, we're going into the realm of the unknown with Dream Mix TV World Fighters. Now, some of y'all may have heard of this one. Mm, how about you don't save? What if you what if you did that? Yeah. No save. That's what I picked. So this is a co-production between Hudson, Konami, and Takara. It's made by Red and Ating, because there aren't enough companies involved. This is a Smash Brothers clone. What? Oh boy, of course all the menus are in Japanese. Well... Well, this says character Bible, so let's see what characters are in this. Well, you know all the characters of the Bible. You got your Jesus, your Moses, your... <laughs> Alex. Sorry. That's not what that means. <laughs> now who's getting her name yelled at them? <laughs> <laughs> so who's in this game? We got Power Pro from Konami's Powerful Pro Baseball Series. We got Simon from Castlevania. Oh, wow. Twin B. Uh, we got Rika-chan. I think that is a Takara Barbie is knockoff. That Jenny? I think that might be Jenny. Oh my god, Jenny! We have uh, Takao, who's from something. Is that Beyblade? We got Convoy, who is Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime is in this game. We got Miku. Mikuro. Microman. Microman. Of course, Bomberman's in here. And of course, Momotaro is in here from the, the classic Hudson RPGs. Of course. Takahashi Majin himself. Uh huh. Uh, that was Microman earlier. Oh, I see. Uh, you, you, Yuko, Yugo. Is he from? I have no idea. Anyway, let's play some story mode. Cool. Yes, I there. like that screaming guy, with, like no clothing, with barely any clothing on. Well, now he's in 3D. Ah, uh, that was someone from Bloody Roar earlier. Oh, Bloody Roar's in this too. Jeez. It's because 18 developed the Bloody Roar series. Makes sense. This is kind of stretching the theme of tonight's stream because this was also on PS2, but come on, GameCube. It works. It's, it's weird. Why are you getting my ass kicked? Is that you? Yes, actually I am. Uh, I'm, I'm the, I'm the half-nude wrestle man. <laughs> So who are we picking? Out of all those characters you just saw, 
Who would y'all like to see me play as? Simon, Twinby, Jenny. I do like that Jenny is here. Bomberman, Optimus Prime, Takahashi Meijin. Simon, you go, Jenny, 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 Microman, you go, you go, Simon, Jenny, Convoy, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. A lot of votes for Jenny. Jenny, Jenny. Let's, let's go for it. Go with your heart. I have no idea how this even plays. I'm just glad it works. Kick your ass, Jenny. Jenny fights back from the grave. Jenny versus Bomberman. <laughs> We're collecting hearts, I guess. <laughs> it's throwing yes! Bomberman around. Kick his ass, Jenny! Toss, toss his ass. <laughs> uh, so it's like whoever has the most hearts at the end, I guess. Seems like it, yeah. So I guess it's not straight up brawling. Or at least maybe not in this mode. Jeez. Oh, the hearts. Oh, the lights are off. Oh, it's even got the shield from Smash Brothers. It it looks like it. Wow, real mature, dude. There we go. Super pinch. Well, how did you read that? Was there an English that I didn't yeah, see? Yeah, it said super. It said super pinch real quick in English. On okay, screen. it also said it in Japanese. Okay. It's like, what are you hiding from me, Alex? Oh, no, I don't know. Don't, don't worry. I'm still as dumb as ever. I just... You're trying to make me do all the translation work. Oh, God, no. I... Here's Simon fighting in the world of Castlevania. <laughs> against a Takara Barbie-like. Because this really happened. This is an actual video game. Is that like the theme of this show? This is an actual video game? Yeah, I guess that's a good theme. GameCube games you can't believe actually exist. Uh, pretend like there's a YouTube thumbnail where I have my mouth open. You got your hands on your cheeks, you're like, whoa! Yeah. Yeah, we need to commission someone to draw you like that, so can you send them? <laughs> Just like, top epic fails in GameCube? I got whipped. Don't. Jesus Christ! Whoa, he's trying to defeat the, the demons inside of you. He's got actual moves, I don't know if I can compete with this. What does that move do? I don't even know. Oh, Simon, no! Oh, I absorbed all his hearts. Oh, good. Give me your heart. Let me take your essence. Got it. Simon's dead. <laughs> You've stolen his soul. Let's see, red hair, sexy Simon is valid. Cool. Is the Konami Moai in this? Oh, good. Okay. I guess he's unlockable. Come on, controller. There we go. Here, take this. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, folks. I'm gonna see if we can do multiplayer. No. Well, it does have a story mode, if you like that. Did they try and make sense of all the different cannons and stuff? Probably not. Oh no. Oh yes, yeah, Snake is in here! You can have Solid Snake versus Simon Belmont! You can also have uh, Solid Snake versus Jenny. My god. No other video game can you put Solid Snake versus Simon Belmont ever in the history of mankind. Don't even think about it. Alright, I think I need to get out of here. But this is a pretty weird single-player mode. That's only kind of like Smash Brothers. Now, where is this multiplayer? Oh, there's a character from Tengai Makio in here? Wonderful. Yeah, that's, uh... Oh. I forgot. Well, it's one of them. It's someone. Bring you press start? Maybe. Is it registering? Hang on. Okay, we're checking. We're, we're push trying your, to make... Push your buttons. Nothing. Okay, it is showing up on the remote, but... Damn. Well, unfortunately, no two players, so you can't see Danny kick my ass. I'll show off a few more characters, though. Okay. 
Oh, this is mini game mode. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's in Jenny's house again. Welcome back, Jenny. I really like the aesthetic of this game. I like this game's uh, interface and logos and everything. I just like that it has so many different characters from so many different properties, and they all try to use the same art style. No other game would do that. Also on GameCube was a game called Battle Stadium Dawn. Uh, the Dawn stands for Dragon Ball, One Piece, and Naruto. As a game where all the characters from all those properties fight. Okay, I've been there's a picture with the full cast, I'm gonna look at it and see who else is here. You can have Sasuke fight against Monkey D. Luffy. There okay. is a there is a very large nude man. Um, Whoa, there is. The that, is that the Momotaro guy? No, Momotaro's right over here, so... I don't know who the large nude man is. <laughs> um, watching it. They're large. I don't know who they are, but they are large. They are huge. They are vaguely menacing. And I can, I, I guess I can fight them with uh, the Beyblade guy. I missed, somehow. Damn. It's Beanbogami from Momotaro, so it's the large nude man from Momotaro. Okay, so... Good. Let's put some comms in there. Or one man, three comms. Who will win? Mm. Man versus comm. Alright, this time I'm gonna be Simon, I think. Oh, he's so normal. Oh, oh you can be different, different Simons! Simons. You can be cool. Aqua Simon. Yeah, I'll be Aqua Simon. Simon. Okay, we got the powerful Pro Stadium, Dracula's Mansion, uh, Tengai, Rika Chan's house, uh, something Buster, Night City, Bomberman. I think I like that one. Is that a reference to Momotar Dentetsu? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> and we can fight on the, the island from Adventure Island. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a Simon in Bomberman stage, and then I'm going to play um, Takahashi Meijin. Because i got to know. Yeah. I how, do, what... how does Takahashi Meijin play in a Smash Brothers like? Like, what, 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 what could his moves possibly be? Also, yeah, that was uh, Momotaro Dentetsu. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> For those unaware, it started off as a series called Momotaro Densetsu, and then I guess as a joke, someone at Hudson suggested Momotaro Dentetsu, which means electric train. And that's how it became a train board game and also RPG series. Man, I thought there'd be some more straight up fighting, but it seems to be more about collecting hearts. My kind of game. I guess they didn't want Nintendo to, to get angry. Well, doesn't matter. I mean, just Nintendo. That's true. What, what can they do? They won't do anything. They're real friendly when people imitate them. They're like, wow, good job! And then they kiss you. <laughs> Mr. Nintendo himself. Everyone's favorite uncle. Oh, here we go. Simon has actual moves. He doesn't just spin like Jenny does. The power of Christ compels you, Momotaro. <laughs> you say the anti-Jenny contingent has come out. I guess it's not surprising this never came out over here, given the amount of Japanese media represented, but I would have liked to seen them try to replace some characters. Like, who was popular on US TV at the time? This was like, what, 2002, 2003? Oh god, that would be, uh... Yeah, put, like, put Ed, Ed, and Eddie in there. Put the Ripping Friends in. Put the Ripping Friends in there, that would be no. perfect. Everyone would love that. Simon Cowell! Simon Cowell Simon and Simon Cowell. Belmont. Put all the American Idol people yeah, in there. Yeah, put Peter Griffin in. <laughs> you joke, but people would buy that shit for real. I would love to see Peter Griffin versus the cast of Mission Hill. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright, so it seems like the X button is your special attack button, and you can hold in different directions to do different attacks. 
A is jump, B is just regular smacking. And it looks like the hearts actually represent their life force, so instead of it being a percentage, as in Smash Brothers, it's just little icons you pick up. Exactly! Peter Griffin versus Coach McGurk. <laughs> Microman stole my heart! Aw, oh, he did. Love that guy. He's wonderful. There's other little changes too, like the way you can wander around before the fight begins. Okay, more info from uh, Electro Boogaloo about this game. Uh, Bitstep, who are ex Kaze devs, were uh, the developer behind Dream Mix with Quintet on audio production. Quintet? That's like what, 10 companies now? Quintet, Red, uh. Who else wants to work on this? Aiding, Capcom, Disney, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck Soul. Okay, I'm clicking on. This looks like a normal link. It's about Jenny. Please be normal. Oh, it's... it's... It's Jenny's friend, Erica. It's a friend doll. And it is for the... it is... 88,500 yen! Wow! No. I think I'll pass. No, I do, I do appreciate her, though. There are so many... Jesus, Jenny goes for a lot of money! Too much money! No thank you! Jenny's valuable. Mm -hmm. Now, you think there's a competitive scene around this game? Where people insist on playing with GameCube controllers? Where people are real mad, like, Jenny isn't allowed? <laughs> yeah, they ban all the different characters. <laughs> I think it was uh, Nintendo of France who officially banned all the DLC characters from Smash Brothers tournaments. Like the country of France? Yeah, Nintendo of France. You can't use the DLC characters in tournaments over there. What? After Hero ruined everything, supposedly. Well. Well, Momotaro wins. Hey, thanks a lot! Play my train game! Momotaro Dentetsu, 17, coming soon. <laughs> That's why they're all cheering. Who is that buff? This is like... Crop top man. I see who you're talking about. He's dressed very strangely. Yeah, he's got jorts. I, I like the I like the guy next to him in the Hawaiian shirt. That's me. All right, this one. I gotta I gotta play as Takahashi Meijin. Okay, let's see how he does. Does this game do him justice? <laughs> Jenny is banned for being too lucky. Thank you, Beetle. <laughs> oh, different Takahashi's. Look at this. Oh, this looks like classic. We gotta go with the classic. Alright. Sunburn Takahashi. Mm-hmm. Versus Simon, Jenny, and I think a baseball player. I'm sorry, Danny, but I'm gonna have to root for Jenny. Alright, well, we're on Meijin's home turf. Not like that matters. <laughs> I mean, you never know. It could. I do really like that duck mega horn, megaphone. I saw Chad talking about it, and it's good. Oh, I gotta get that. It's just spitting out hearts! Oh my god! So, what are your moves? Okay, he can throw spears. And axes. Good. That's accurate. He can steal Simon Belmont's heart. Just like in the Adventure Island games. Mm -hmm. Oh, his axes are huge. Oh my god, they don't... I guess they don't like being hit with an axe, but Jenny is in first place right now. How? She doesn't have axes. She's really good at collecting the, uh, the hearts, I guess. Wait, is Simon tiny? Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> that Jenny just stole all your hearts with her, like... Her psycho wave or something. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, watch out for her. She's a... Literal heart thief. Mm-hmm. Baby Simon. I was honestly expecting this to be more like Smash Brothers. I'm surprised they took it in a completely different direction. Oh, no. Gotta get my heart back. Okay, good. Okay, you're not being super pinched. Hey, Jenny actually is OP. I think she might be. 
Since all her moves seem to be about stealing your hearts, yeah. I like the remix here. I'm gonna say nothing. She's kind of unstoppable. Yeah, I think Ginny's cheating. You've been... have you been killed? I got tiny-sized, but I'm still alive. Okay, that's good. I'd like the camera to zoom out. <laughs> That'd be nice. Ah, Snaked again. Be powerful. Paul Simon Belmont. Okay, it's not technically Jenny in this game. It's... I know, it's Rika-chan. Who is... Rika. who's similar, but not quite the same. I mean, she's... she's Jenny-esque. She looks like a damn doll. Man, I haven't seen Optimus Prime in any of these battles. Maybe I have to check him out. Check out Optimus Prime. Let's see, uh... just see... Paul Simon Belmont. Mm-hmm. That's a... I think that's a Wheel of Fortune before and after puzzle. <laughs> Is Paul Simon short? I know nothing about Paul Simon aside from his music and other things. So I guess I do know things about Paul Simon. You I can, just don't know his height. You can call him Al. Which is confusing because his name is Paul. That was he did that song, right? What? Call me Al, yeah. Okay, good. Sure. I got that right. That was him and uh Oh, I forgot who he did he was in he was this Chevy Chase! Chevy Chase is the guy who was in the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the music video. I almost wanted to say Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler did ne never teamed up with Paul Simon. A damn shame. Are you sure? Now I'm unsure, yes. Uh... Give me my heart back. Can I win even one of these matches? That's my dream. Is that your dream mix? <laughs> Okay, here's the height comparison. Okay, I'm gonna see how short he is. Wow, he's too short! Oh, he's tiny! I think he might be shorter than me. And I'm really short, so that's good. Simon took my heart. Simon. Alright, I'm gonna quit out of this and play Optimus Prime, okay. and then I think we can wrap up. But this this is a thing that exists. Dream Mix TV World Fighters. Combining all your favorite Japanese franchises into one game. Convoy. You know, we've got a great big convoy. Across the USA? Mm-hmm. Anyone oh. know if Goemon's in this? I wish he was. I didn't see Goemon in that picture I saw, so I assume no. Damn. Konami should revive this series, but do they make... Oh, I'm sorry to be like this. Do they make fun games anymore? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not nice. They announced the new Castlevania mobile game. And they have been making really good compilations of old games lately. So there's that, at least. Uh, Goemon is not in this, apparently. That's a shame. Damn shame. Alright, Optimus Prime just punched Bomberman in the face, so... This game is pretty good. Holy shit, he's got a big sword! No, he turns into a truck! Oh my god, he just... <laughs> Eat shit, everyone! I'm a truck! Wow. <laughs> it's hard to use the truck. There we go. <laughs> you say Ginny is overpowered, but can she turn into a truck? I don't think she can. Also, you are kicking everyone's ass by... Took someone's heart. Nice. I finally found a move that works. Oh my god, Beyblade Kid is the only one left! <laughs> Come here, Beyblade. You should know by now, never touch a spinning bay. What the? Nice! Optimus oh Prime god. wins! <laughs> Turn into a truck and grabbed it! All you gotta do is turn into a truck and run everyone over. This is some Mugen shit, yes. I bet you all these characters are in Mugen. <laughs> I even <laughs> love the little noise it makes. Beep beep! Time to get the fuck out of the way! All 
All right, I found my main. Everybody look out, because I know the truck move. Just whip Simon Belmont with my giant tractor trailer ass. I've got I've got something controversial to say. The GameCube was pretty good. You no, know, it has the weird games on the GameCube were real fucking weird, and they, I appreciate that. Yeah, they didn't half ass it at all. They could be just as weird as the other companies. Even more so. People call you a big mother trucker. <laughs> Should we stream those games? Does anyone want to see Big Mother Truckers? Was that just a giant piece of shit you picked up? I think it was. Cool. Yeah, also this is Mara, uh, I, I saw the peach on the train, so this is Zenketsu. For sure, yeah. Oh, shit, don't die, no! Oh no, Beyblade killed you! <laughs> Baby, Beyblade kid killed Optimus Prime. It's Unicron that's supposed to do that. <laughs> I've never seen Transformers. I know nothing of Transformers either, other than the fact that they're robots in disguise. And everyone oh. was real mad when Optimus Prime got killed. That's not true. I have seen the Michael Bay Transformers uh, out of the corner of my eye when they were on, and then got really bored and did not pay attention to them. Well, thank you. I watched one of the Michael Bay Transformers because someone put it on thinking it would be funny, but no, it was just boring. It's really boring, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not even good to watch for for laughs. It's very... Now this game, this is a good adaptation of the source material. Mm -hmm. He turns into a truck and runs over people, keeping it simple. Okay, it's between me and, <laughs> and freaking Beyblade Kid again. <laughs> I win! You stole his soul! I stole his soul! Convoy, aka Optimus Prime, is the winner. He has stolen all the souls of every Konami character, and also every Hudson character. And he's probably coming to take your soul, too. I'd ask him not to, but I don't think I can prevent it, so... Good. Ah, uh, thank you, Aquas, for the raid. Uh, we're actually winding down here, but... We just showed off uh, Dream Mix TV, and it was really weird. <laughs> it was. Thanks, and welcome, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Yep, this is Dream Mix TV World Fighters, a game where Optimus Prime can take on Bomberman and <laughs> Takahashi Meijin and Simon Belmont. It is a real thing that exists. Let me show you all the character select screen, just so you know what you're getting into. You gotta check this out. Yeah, see, it's got, like, Takara Dolls, it's got Twin B, Simon, Power Pro Baseball Guy. Characters I don't even know. Solid Snake is in here, supposedly. It's a game. It's a game. And it's a little bit like Smash Brothers. I enjoy it. Check yeah. it out, why not? I think we're done here. We that's done? too That's too much weirdness for one evening. We gotta cash out. Oh, wow. So there you go. Three extremely weird games for the Nintendo GameCube. We got Cubivore, which... I guess nowadays it has an analog and stuff like Tokyo Jungle, which really takes up where it left off. We had Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse. What? I still don't know what that is. I don't know either. I don't know. Still don't know why it exists. And finally, Dream Mix TV World Fighters. Uh, a really weird Smash Brothers game featuring all the characters. Beyblade! I can't up out of everyone in there, just seeing Rika or Lika versus Beyblade is just... Beautiful. We're done. We're done. Get out of here. Get out. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Alex has taken a, a grab from the, the cover art of the Japanese version of Cubivore. Yeah, check out the Japanese cover art for Cubivore because it's fucking weird. It's about as weird as you might expect. And thanks for watching. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this week, the patrons voted to see Cubivore, and boy, we gave them Cubivore, a solid hour of one of the strangest games I've ever played. If you want to vote for We Play, head to patreon.com slash retropals, pitch in five bucks a month, you'll get access to our weekly polls. Uh, over this last week, I've been drafting up some good Halloween stream ideas, so expect to see a lot of spooky, kooky stuff over the next few weeks. Ooh, anything ooky? Oh yeah, we got some ooky stuff too. Oh good. That's Don't you worry. If you have any suggestions, feel free to post them in our Discord. <laughs> There's a lot of games to pick from. So many. So many. Uh, Alex, why don't you wrap us up? I'll look for a host. All right, uh, let me just show off uh, 
if you'd like to join our Discord, I'm going to post the link in chat. Uh, we have cool chat, and we do have a channel to post cool pets, so please do. We like seeing your pets. The They're pet perfect. channel is secretly the best channel on the Discord. Mm -hmm. It's secretly the best channel in the world, honestly. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash retropals. We just posted our highlight of uh, Girls Club there, so check that out if you want to see a snappy edited version of uh, your favorite slumber party. Girls Club was so good. Girls Club rules. Oh, and we were recently on uh, Bad Game Hall of Fame's uh, their not girl podcast, so uh, check it out on their channel. It's real good. Wow, so many people streaming. So many people. Everyone I follow is streaming. Dude, you better show off that baby hedgehog. I or that hedgehog. I gotta see that. I gotta see that hog. I gotta see him. What the? Hmm. Oh man, this is a tough choice. This is a real tough choice. Macaw is playing what seems to be some kind of furry platformer starring a badger? I've never heard of it in my life. What's it called? Uh, I have to wait for this ad to finish playing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Hang on. I'm learning about Apple Arcade. Oh, wow. Is it is it good? No. <laughs> the ad just says, This sucks, folks. Don't buy this product. Absolute horseshit. Only from Apple. Okay, this is just a little bit too relevant to our audience to resist. I okay. also recommend checking out Whoop Von Whoop, who is playing her TRS-80 Coco. Ooh. She got a flashcard for it, so that's some real weird stuff from the 70s and 80s. Maybe just 80s. Maybe it's not 70s. Anyway, yeah, he's playing a side-scrolling run-and-gun shooter called Tail Chaser. It's a DOS game from 1996, released only in Germany. Perfect. Yes. This is this is the perfect segue from such a weird stream we had tonight. So please enjoy this weird German badger game that McCall is playing. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.